Hi everyone, it's Jason Duff with Earl of Five Games. Um, I had an a interesting question from one of our uh, Discord users uh, this morning, kind of um, talking about uh, encounter balance essentially. Um, they were wondering why they didn't see any guides for um, how to create encounters, and, and it's a good question, right? Especially for people who are coming from uh, D&D or D20-based uh, games, um, where you see a lot of um, math done to make uh, challenge ratings and that sort of thing. Um, and that that really is a concept that doesn't exist in a lot of other games. Um, it doesn't because it it really takes a very specific um, concept of balance which is required in order to come up with those things you have to have not only do you have to have um, balance between the enemies and the characters but you also have to have balance between the characters and assuming that those characters um, do specific things and that there's balance between the classes and how many people there are and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> let me let me talk about the way it works in Heroes and Hardships in general. So in Heroes and Hardships you have four categories of uh, adversaries. Okay, The first is a nemesis and a nemesis is a character that uh, has been built um, at one power level or more than the character's power level. So if it's a power level one game, they're built at power level two, three, or four. Um, and uh, so that is the most powerful thing you can uh, you can face. Um, when I say powerful, it's kind of can be a misnomer because I could create a PL five or well five if it existed power of four character against your pl1 characters and if it was a complete social um character you'd still run over it in combat okay so um that that is not really uh, a definition um it just if if ever all things are equal and you're looking at combat yes they're they're highly highly more um apt to destroy you um or be a, a greater challenge. Um, and the next is adversaries. They're just called adversaries. And those are uh, built the exact same way as characters um, and the same pro power level. So uh, I would run just through normal character creation for them. Uh, and you will see those uh, in Fantasy Adversary 1, uh, I believe. Let's look at what we have. This is how I create my characters right now, actually, too. So you're kind of seeing a little bit behind the scenes. Um, so Medusas and Bards I have in there. Um, so they're they're created uh, the same way as PCs. Um, okay. And then there's foes. And foes have sp special rules. They don't get as many attribute points as uh, players. They don't get uh, as much skills as players and um, they can't uh, sustain any more wounds than their wound threshold okay uh, no matter what um, so when they hit that they just die and then there's finally minions minions are uh, uh, they have less attributes attribute points than foes they have less skills than foes um, if they take any damage they are destroyed um, but uh, minions can be grouped into mobs, which really gives them a lot of a. It's a whole different ball game when you put them into mobs because um, it's hard to kill them all at once. It's hard to kill multiples, uh, and uh, yeah, they can cause a lot of trouble. Um, so those are your your four basic adversary types, um, and uh, they generally. Uh, are different uh, based on what they can do. So when you, when you try to kind of look and encounter, uh, it's really more important to see um, what the thing can do versus what your players can do. So if I put a dragon against four or five players, um, you know, and a, sing a single dragon, the dragon might have issues if uh, they're able to bunch up on the dragon and overwhelm it. Um, however, if the dragon's flying, uh, shooting its breath weapon, um, and the 
not all the PCs can shoot weapons or cast magic from a distance, then they might be at a, a, a real disadvantage. Um, the one thing that is clear uh, in Heroes and Hardships is that uh, a gang up mentality will really hurt whoever's being ganged up on unless they can control uh, the battlefield. So if I have a really strong uh, monster adversary fighting against multiple uh, player characters, they can easily gang up on it um, and whittle it down, and that's because they're going to um, they're going to use their AP. They're going to have five attacks versus its one attack, um, you know that sort of thing. So that's that's something to keep in mind, and that that is uh, that is something that's done very purposely because uh, I'm try you know there's trying to be a sense of reality to to the system um, in, in those ways. So yeah, I think I think uh, you just have to as a GM really look at um, what you're trying to accomplish with your uh, adversaries um, and uh, know that. Um, what is going to give a challenge for the player characters. It may be that um, even a big bad guy, Arch Nemesis, is not going to provide a challenge because of the way it's built and the way your characters are built. <coughs> so, uh, the way to, you know, <coughs> defeat that is create, a, create uh, characters that are going to challenge very specific aspects of the players. So the dragon example is a good one. Um, if something can fly and shoot at the players and they can't do much about it, it's tough. No matter if they're a minion or a foe or whatever, you know. Um, it, it, characters are not unlike D and D. Uh, I'll just say fifth edition specifically. Um, it's not necessarily, combat's not necessarily for the players to win. Um, you know, it's to challenge them, but there might be challenges they can't overcome, pot potentially. Um, but if you're trying to keep it, you know, balanced, uh, the way to do it is, you know, kind of try to figure out, you know, what adversaries uh, challenge uh, what they can do. And uh, use appropriate levels of foes, adversaries, minions to do that. So if you didn't want to crush your characters, you know, you can, and you know that a mummy or some sort of undead is going to challenge them because they have a bunch of light hitters. Um, because uh, you really need to hit that mortality threshold uh, to kill uh, these things uh, easier. And um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I think that... Um, if you have light hitters and you you send a bunch of uh, huge big bad you know undead guys, they're going to have real 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 issues. But uh, if you send a foe mummy or two, uh, that might be a good challenge for them. Whereas if you have big like barbarian berserkers who can hit hard, very hard, um, then and, and they're and they're maybe they're made to use like a reckless attack and stuff then they might handle those uh, foes quite easy. It just depends on what um, what things that your adversaries bring to uh, the table versus uh, what your players can do. So in this system, that's a better indicator of uh, understanding um, how difficult something's going to be versus some numerical calculation which you really can't do in a system like this because it's not class based and characters can be so so wide and varied and so and that goes for you know your adversaries too because they're built the same way almost so i hope that was helpful um and uh, i'm happy to comment on all this stuff and i'll be posting this on the earl of fife uh, youtube channel and uh, have a good day